Hallo liebe Leute, willkommen zurück zu Mass Effect. Wir haben beim letzten Mal diesen, äh, dieses proteanische Artefakt gefunden und als wir es angefasst haben, haben wir irgendwie eine Vision gehabt, so von Chaos, Zerstörung und Tod. Und wir haben herausgefunden, dass dieser Saren, der jetzt mit diesem Geth, mit dieser synthetischen Rasse zusammenarbeitet, ein Spectre war. Und ja, damit wir den kriegen können, muss er quasi seinen Spectre-Status aberkannt bekommen müssen. Muss er seinen Spectre-Status aberkannt bekommen müssen. Nein, das ist falsch, aber ich krieg's jetzt gerade um die Uhrzeit. Es ist noch früh. Eine besser hin. Ja, und dazu müssen wir auf die Citadel und mit dem Citadel-Rat sprechen. Was auch immer das dann heißt. Aber ja, wir haben hier noch ein paar primäre Codex entdecken. Genau. And surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Oh, das hört sich aber saumäßig gefährlich an. Ja gut, dann haben wir jetzt ein bisschen was über Biotik gelernt. Aha, aha, aha. Mal schauen. The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its turreted 155mm mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapon support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with microthrusters for use on low-gravity planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell and includes a small element zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in conjunction with thrusters, It also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. Hm, dieses Element Zero ist wohl irgendwie ziemlich vielseitig, vielseitiges Zeugs. Man hat es irgendwie in Autos drin, man spritzt das oder verabreicht das Babys. Äh, ungeborene Babys, wohlgemerkt. Äh, ja, die markiere ich jetzt einfach mal. Oder ich klicke sie an. So, jetzt blinkt hier auch nichts mehr, sehr schön. Ja, jetzt habe ich meinen Faden verloren. Egal. Ich guck mal, was der hier zu verkaufen hat. Hey Commander, looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? <lacht> my stuff doesn't come from the alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Ja, vielleicht doch kein Hehler, wenn es da irgendwie um Lizenzen geht. Ja, fragen wir doch. What mal. are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Mhm. Mm Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. So, was hat er noch? Um... How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Ja, dann schauen wir doch mal. Das ist 
was er hat. Das ist, was wir haben. Oh, das ist doch mittlerweile ganz schön viel. Ähm, ja, ich habe ja eh schon alle ausgerüstet. Dann tue ich mal erstmal verkaufen. Klack, 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 klack. So, boah, linksklick, Orgie. Weg. So, jetzt habe ich noch oh, süß 2000. <lacht> Äh, ja, ähm, so. Ah, vergleichen. Hier, sehr gut. So, das sind wir. Oh, die. Das, das, das nenne ich doch mal eine Rüstung hier, oder? Was kostet der Spaß? Äh, das Zehnfache. Hm. Scorpion 4. Und wir haben 1. Na gut. Das ist dann vielleicht doch echt ein bisschen zu, zu weit für uns schon. Avenger. Ist auch zu teuer. Das könnten wir uns leisten. Eine Turianer Rüstung. Wir sind aber kein Turianer. Blöd. Medigel Upgrade. Oh, das nehmen wir doch mit. Perfekt. Gekauft. Granaten Upgrade. Okay, nehmen wir auch. Was haben wir hier noch? Was bist denn du? Achso, das ist diese Turianer Rüstung. Okay. Und für alles andere haben wir einfach kein Geld. Na gut. Biotics is the Nein, das kennen wir schon. Tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable. An Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first-in colonists. Mm -hmm. no. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, navigation and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Das ist quasi ein Terminator zum anziehen. So wie der schon ausschaut, das ist ja echt fieses Bild. Boah. Okay, haben wir jetzt alles gesehen? Dann... Wo kann ich denn hier hin? Der Adams, mit dem kann man reden. Hier kann ich irgendwas spielen? Es gibt einen Codex-Eintrag. Ja, oh, wieder primär. Biotics is Eins. Element Zero can increase or ah. decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys while high mass compaction creates dense sturdy construction materials the military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire ja ich weiß jetzt gar nicht was ftl hier heißt aber interessant, ne? Ist Element Zero. Hat man vorhin schon mal. Das wird irgendwie für alles Mögliche verwendet. 
Ja, und damit kann man so Masse von Objekten beeinflussen und noch viel mehr. Oh. Guck mal, das war jetzt der Computer. Dann kann ich jetzt das Ding auch noch antatschen. Noch mehr Codex. Mensch, das ist ja heute voll die Lesestunde. <lacht> Biotics ist die Ability. Hier. When subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed Element Zero or ESO <lacht> emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Ah, uh, yeah, faster than light, etc. So, das ist also unser Motor hier quasi vom Schiff. Das schaut ziemlich abgefahren aus. Ach, hier muss ich irgendwie wieder die Parallele zu Firefly ziehen. Da. Der, der Motor von der, von der Firefly, der war, der hat sich auch so im Kreis gedreht. Zwar ein bisschen kleiner, man stand nicht quasi mittendrin. Aber ja, auch so ein Ding, was sich im Kreis dreht. Okay, reden wir mal mit dem Adams. Okay, das war's dann schon. Ja, ist wirklich blöd, dass der uns da weggestorben ist. Aber das war geskriptet, wir hatten keine Chance. Keine Chance. So, rennen wir. So. Dann denke ich, haben wir hier unten alles. Ähm, geht's mal. Na? Hoch. Oh, der hat aber eine Körperhaltung. <lacht> Schaut nicht gesund aus. So, wo geht's hier hin? Ach, da waren die. Okay. Ah, wenn ich schon mal. Mal schnell speichern. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, ob das Spiel ist genauso stabil oder instabil ist wie Dragon Age. Geh auf. So, ich will mich jetzt hier erstmal umgucken. Was haben wir jetzt hier? Das ist sekundär. Da. Hm, vielleicht lese ich mir das doch irgendwann mal gemütlich durch. Aber es ist zumindest nicht wichtig genug, dass es, da, dass es mal extra eingesprochen wurde. Was übrigens ziemlich gut gemacht ist. Also das ist richtig geil vorgelesen. Gefällt mir echt gut. Das wünschte ich mir auch für Dragon Age. Vielleicht gibt es das ja am 2 oder in Inquisition. Das weiß ich noch gar nicht. Okay. Hier darf ich nicht drum spielen. Aber hier gibt es hier, hier gibt's zwei verschiedene Punkte. Nerven. Also okay, dann das ist hier vorne, bin ich also noch zu weit weg. Da. Das ist auch wieder ein sekundärer Eintrag. So, Mr. Presley. Heißt du Elvis mit vorne? Hast du recht. Na gut, also, dann gehen wir mal zum Joker, wie Teil unserer Mission ist, und sagen dem mal, der soll fliegen. Mal schauen, wohin. Ich weiß es gar nicht mehr. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. <lacht> ja. Oh, diese riesigen Weltraumkanonen. Das ist dieses Citadel. Und die Hülle, die sie quasi zumachen kann. Wenn das jetzt noch High Death wäre. Look at the size of that ship. 
The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? If I they are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The yes. mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> So, äh, Renegade plus 2, ja, dann war das wieder die böse Antwort. <lacht> ähm, ja, äh, also, es war ein bisschen übermäßig pompös, aber ich meine, dieses Intro von der Citadel und wie wir da reingeflogen sind, war schon irgendwie geil gemacht. Das ist wie in Dragon Age, auch absolut cool inszeniert. Ja, cool, 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 cool. Ähm, so, jetzt sind wir hier mitten in eine Politikdebatte reingekommen. Ähm, habt ihr irgendwas zu sagen vielleicht? Mhm. Ja, schaut doch cool aus irgendwie so mit dem Grün zwischendurch, mit dem fake blauen Himmel. Also ich nehme mal an, dass der Fake ist. Ich meine, wir sind mitten im Weltall. <lacht> Guter Punkt. Ach, die ist so schön sarkastisch. Das gefällt mir. Äh, hier müssen wir das entschlüsseln. So, Maus ist schnell. Wow. Ähm. Okay, das war jetzt einfach bloß Informationen. Hat das irgendwie eine Quest gegeben oder so? Ja. Ja, okay. Wir haben jetzt quasi eine Nebenaufgabe bekommen. Hm. Das, ähm. Jetzt kann ich nicht auf die Hauptmission. Jetzt. Ja, so, okay. Unsere Aufgabe ist jetzt natürlich zu den Politikern hoch in den äh, Citadel Tower zu gehen. Das ist nicht das Erste, was ich mache, außer ich stolper da irgendwie rein. Ich will mich jetzt hier ein bisschen umgucken. Man, wenn wir schon mal einen Freigang haben, quasi. Ähm, ja. Ich kenne mich null aus. Ah, 
Avina. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Uh, the CSEC, this abkürzung is, glaube ich, Citadel Security. Uh, ja, dann wird's wahrscheinlich jetzt gleich erklärt werden. I want to know more about Citadel Security. Ja. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a Council race? The Council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster, it would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. <laughs> I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Yeah, it's just a KI, ne? <laughs> What do we do? Um, yeah. Do you know just... anything about specters? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. 
Das haben wir schon mal gehört. Okay, haben wir hier alles. Goodbye. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Dankeschön, gern geschehen, gut gemacht. Ähm, ja, haben wir einiges gelernt und ach du liebe Güte. Huh. Ähm, ich fange mal unten an. Biotics is the ability of rare. Nein, 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 das A da. virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Ja, sobald man mal die Technologie hat, ne, dann, dann treibt man das so weit es auch nur geht. The Citadel is an Nein, The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Uh, die, Moment, also die Zuordnung. Die Asari ist diese blaue hier. Turianer kennen wir schon. Wir hatten ja den, den Nihilus an Bord. Das ist der Kollege hier. Und der im Hintergrund ist ein, wie heißt der? Salarianer. Da werden wir dann kennen wir, lernen wir auf jeden Fall noch ein paar kennen. Dann sehen wir die auch mal so richtig. The Geth, Nein, the Volus are a member species of the Citadel with their own embassy, but they are also a client race of the Turians. Oh, okay. Centuries ago, they were voluntarily absorbed into the hierarchy, effectively trading their mercantile prowess for Turian military protection. Erun, their homeworld, lies far beyond the normal life zone of its star. However, the world has a high-pressure greenhouse atmosphere that traps enough heat to support an ammonia-based biochemistry. As a result, the Volus must wear pressure suits and breathers when dealing with other species, as conventional nitrogen-oxygen air mixtures are poisonous to them, and in the low-pressure atmospheres tolerable to most species, their flesh will actually split open. <laughs> Volus culture is tribal bartering lands and even people to gain status. Uh -huh. This culture of exchange inclines them to economic pursuits. It was the Volus who authored the Unified Banking Act and they continue to monitor and balance the Citadel economy. Also an, an diese Volus kann ich mich noch erinnern, dass das also zumindest in der in der deutschen Synchro ziemlich schrecklich war denen zuzuhören. Das ist so ein bisschen Darth Vader mäßig. Die sind ständig am atmen. Also hört sich hört sich blöd an. So, was haben wir hier noch? Äh, ja, jetzt nehmen wir die noch mit in der Folge hier. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Hm, notable. Mhm. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. 
If you have more questions, please access Savina. Die haben wir schon gesehen, also frage ich da gerne das nach. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> When you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Okay. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. So, da ist nichts Primäres, was Sekundäres. Gut, dann beende ich die Folge mal. Bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und beim nächsten Mal ähm, ja mal gucken, was ich dann hier noch entdecke oder ob wir dann wirklich gleich mal hochgehen und die Story weiterführen. Also, ciao, ciao.